Hello, welcome again. Um, we're very glad to have uh, with us this afternoon uh, Commissioner Stella Kiyakides um, to take a couple of questions about our vaccine strategy in view of recent um, developments. Um, so uh, I give the floor to the Commissioner for an initial statement. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I last communicated with you on Monday to express our serious concerns regarding the intention of AstraZeneca to supply considerably, considerably fewer doses uh, in the coming weeks than agreed and announced. Since then, we have been making all efforts to resolve the situation. We convened a third meeting of the steering board on Monday night, which resulted again in insufficient explanations from the company and deep dissatisfaction among the member states. Now, let me be crystal clear. The 27 European Union member states are united that AstraZeneca needs to deliver on its commitments in our agreements. We are in a pandemic. We lose people every day. These are not numbers. And they're not statistics. These are persons with families, with friends and colleagues that are all affected as well. Pharmaceutical companies, vaccine developers have moral, societal and contractual responsibilities which they need to uphold. The view that the company is not obliged to deliver because we signed a best effort agreement is neither correct nor is it acceptable. We signed an advanced purchase agreement for a product which at the time did not exist and which still today is not yet authorized. And we signed it precisely to ensure that the company builds the manufacturing capacity to produce the vaccine early so that they can deliver a certain volume of doses the day that it is authorized. The logic of these agreements was as valid then as it is now. We provide a de-risking investment upfront in order to get a binding commitment from the company to pre-produce even before it gets authorization. Not being able to ensure manufacturing capacity is against the letter and the spirit of our agreement. We reject the logic of first come, first served. That may work at the neighborhood uh, butchers, but not in contracts and not in our advanced purchase agreements. There's no priority clause in the advanced purchase agreement. And also no, there is also no hierarchy of the four production plants named in the advanced purchase agreement. Two are in the, in the EU and two are located in the UK. Now we intend to defend the integrity of our investments and the taxpayers' money that has been invested. We remain always open to engage with the company to resolve any outstanding issues in the spirit of true collaboration and responsibility. That was always the spirit of our engagement with vaccine manufacturers since last spring. This evening at 6.30, the steering board will convene again. I call on AstraZeneca to engage fully, to rebuild trust, to provide complete information, and to live up to its contractual, societal, and moral obligations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commissioner. We will now take a 